morning, y'all, and Merry Christmas a couple of days after. I hope y'all had a great day. I hope you had a great Christmas day, and I hope you're enjoying uh, some time with family still. Listen, y'all, this video is going to be about I blew my Christmas budget. What was I thinking? Now, what am I going to do? Look, I didn't blow it out of way proportion, but I spent a little bit too much. That happens when you start thinking about buying for your grandchildren sometimes. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time beating myself up about it, but... I've got another whole Christmas to do this coming weekend. All my out-of-town family is coming to the house. We're going to have a big old country outdoor North Florida uh, Christmas time together. And I got to feed 11 people, not every single meal for three days, but a good amount of it. So my question to myself is, what should I do? What should I do? Should I just just chalk it up till I messed up? And dig into another category or get it out of whatever money I need to do to take care of this? Or should I hunker down and try to fit it into the overall food budget for the month? Which is definitely extra because we don't usually feed 11 people. So I'm on my way to the grocery store. And when I get back, I'm going to share with y'all how I did. Okay? And I am determined to... Get the most bang for my buck. And then we're going to show you how it turned out, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Bye now. Whew. Okay, y'all. I am back from the grocery store having done my best to get the most value for my money in this situation I'm in. Now, I had not a lot of time, so I went to one place. I went to Walmart, which is the closest I can get to from my house. And now what I like to do is I'm going to zoom around here and show you what I got for what I had to spend. And I was hoping to keep the whole week, including all of my company coming this weekend, for about $50. Let's go see what happened. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, so here is my haul, if you want to call it that, for what I think is going to be a really good uh, supply for us this week, just me and Butch here at the house, to eat and survive on, and then, of course, all my company. First, I want to take you down here and show you my plan. So, Friday night, late, my first company's coming in. Um, now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, between those days, I'm going to have for three of the main meals, like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three of the main meals, I'll have 11 people. And for six of all the meals for Saturday, Sunday, and, a, and half of Monday, I'll have six people. So I've got to provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all of that. All right, now let me show you what I've planned up here. I've planned for Butch and I to have two meals this week. And I had already cooked one forever I left because I happened to had, have some northern beans in my pantry and I had kale. So I made some bean soup with some kale. And then the other meal we're going to have is going to be, I have all these in my freezer, all of them, except for that, the regular potatoes. And these I had left over from the last Aldi haul I did. All right, so what I'm going to do is just have a veggie meal, and that'll be plenty for us. All right, so that's kind of outside of what I bought today. All right, so we decided on having chili. There's nothing like a big pot of something when you've got a crowd of people. So what I'm going to do is show you what the meat sources or the protein sources. As I've said before, you always want to build your main meals around your protein, whether it's meat or not. So I got... Some 80-20, two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. And that's going to make our big pot of chili. Um, I bought several cans here of tomato sauce, tomato paste. I did one thing of, of the red kidney beans because we didn't have any dry ones on hand. And then Butch asked me to get this because he's going to make it kind of tasty. And then he will do all his magic <laughs> And uh, he will make a big old pot of chili. 
And by the way, his chili recipe has, has won uh, contests before. He puts a little bit of this in it. So he made a list of the things he needed, some of the items he already had. All right, so that's going to be made for that. All right, uh, one morning we are going to have biscuits and sausage gravy. And that's going to be delicious. I'm going to make up a pan of biscuit bread, which I already had the flour for that. I went ahead and got this on hand for some of the kids. Somebody who wants a hot dog, kind of goes good with chili, or for lunch, or something like that. And the other meat I got was I got um, sandwich turkey breast. Y'all, we did not cook in my house at all at Christmas because we were at our uh, other family's house. So we didn't have to, we don't have any leftover turkey for turkey sandwiches. But I got that in case we needed it. This is what I had on hand that I just told you about. So those are gonna be my meals. And beyond that, everything you see here, I picked up. Uh, I got a couple of good deals. I, I got one ahead and got a little bit of a snack stuff. Cause look y'all, my grandkids come to my cookie jar and I generally don't have cookies in it because if I have them there, I'm gonna eat them. But I did get a, a markdown price on that and I was really happy about that. Um, I got some, I got assorted bread. I'm, I'm, a, I'm sorry to say I, I don't usually eat butter bread, but I got it for the kids to make sandwiches. It was a real good price. So I went ahead and got that. I got some bagel, cinnamon raisin bagels. And I just did great on the fruit for snacks for the kids, fruit. Um, bananas, and then I already had a little bit of milk, and so I got some more. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. Let's look and see what my list says. All right, so meals for the weekend. I'm going to need two and a half days of meals. That's three breakfasts, two lunches, one supper. Here's my snacks. And I have already made a spice cake, which I made those last uh, first of the week. And uh, I bought these cookies I showed you. My daughter is going to bring some appetizers, as, as is my daughter-in-law. I do have one cheese ball. All right, so how, how it's going to go is um, we're going to have for the three breakfasts, one day we'll have eggs, bacon, and grits. Next day, oatmeal, and I've got these bagels on hand. And then we're going to have biscuit and sausage gravy. I'll make up a pan of biscuit bread, which is so easy and so cheap to make, y'all. Uh, so I'll probably do that. All right, so for lunches, Saturday's our big feast day. We're going to have a big old pot of chili with appetizers. We'll probably be outside all day with a roaring fire, playing all kinds of games, eating chili, and just being enjoying being together. Um, so then that night, there won't really be a supper. <laughs> all right, so Sunday, the next day, we'll warm up that chili. If there's any left, we'll have some hot dogs or sandwiches, and we'll just munch. All right, now for suppers i only have one really and that's gonna be sunday night because saturday we're still gonna be eating on that so sunday night we're gonna have a salad bar because i figure we're gonna need something healthy and i still have about ten dollars on reserve to run down and get fresh lettuce for that but i have all the other vegetables on hand snacks I already showed you fruit i do buy these corn chips they are the, they're under two dollars and they're the uh, great value that's Walmart and they and they go a long long way and then there's my desserts and there now let's see if I came in anywhere near the budget I had told you about and here's my receipt and let's look on down here now there were as I mentioned a few things that I already had on hand so that was very helpful so I came in at $49.83 well, look at that. I'm very, 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 very excited about that. Hey, I think I managed to do it. And now to congratulate myself. Whew. I think I might have me one of these cookies. What do you think? Maybe even two. Now, see, I got to stay out of that cookie jar. Wow. Well, y'all, the whole point is no matter what happens, don't let anything steal your joy. And that's the way to live. Well, listen, y'all be blessed. See you next time.